Welcome back to Jesse and Lexi, Volume 2. We had a resounding success with our first vlog, so thank you to our loyal subscribers <laughs> and our loyal viewers. This week, we both had a little rough start. Uh, both made trips to the doctors. There were many L's again taken here at Davidson College, but... But also some W's. Yeah. Because as, as you know, we are Positivity City. Yeah, I can already feel it's going to be a good week this week. <laughs> so don't forget, <laughs> like and subscribe, join the fam, and enjoy our week. Yes. So I'm on the walk over. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. This is a very small campus, but I still get lost all the time. I'm getting better after a month, but I'm glad I chose a small school because literally no clue. No clue at all. Yesterday I was eating some skinny top and then all of a sudden I felt like I was dying. So I looked at my symptoms and concluded that there was no other possibility other than that I had angina. So I told Lexi at dinner that I had angina and she said, no Jesse, you don't have angina. And she decided that I had acid reflux. So anyway, I was feeling really sick and then Today, I stood up at the end of religion class, and what do you know, I had my first migraine. So I'm stumbling around campus with my eyes half open because the sun is blinding me and hurting my soul. And then I go to lunch, and I get a chicken salad sandwich, and I take a bite, and my stomach starts to hurt. And so there I am with my foot elevated because my ankle is still sprained, possibly with angina slash acid reflux, a searing migraine, and nauseous. We were trying to have a conversation, but Rude. <laughs> some people just got to casually drive their lawnmower tractors. tractor. Question Gosh. of the day. Is sand called sand because you find it between the sea and the land? Give us your thoughts. I'm so <laughs> shook right now. Okay, and it's so it is late night at the, at the so union. People who go on <laughs> and, um, I'm don't supposed to be doing my math life. homework oh. right now, but Jess has been sick for right, the last the couple of weeks and complaining about various symptoms. And so now I'm I'm on like all the internet, all of it, trying to help her figure out what is going on. <laughs> I think I've now scared her because I looked at meningitis and said, stiff neck? You complained of a stiff neck, so she's got one thing, and I was like, I have all the symptoms. She has one. I have all of them. Nausea, headache, is the stiff neck. Comment below if you know what I have. Let me, let me tell you this. A piece of advice is go to the health center. For all those... She won't go. She's convinced she knows what the problem is, but she clearly doesn't if it's not going away. I caved. I'm going to the doctor. Keep you posted. <laughs> just said y'all. This girl just said y'all. It was an accident. <laughs> I'm sick. <laughs> She's definitely got a fever. It's been confirmed. <laughs> I'm so shook. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> okay, currently locked out of my dorm. My key is broken. Okay, now it's fixed. That doesn't make the vlog good. I swear I was locked out a second ago. <laughs> Hannah and I teach 
second graders Spanish. Little devils. And we're not really sure why we signed up for it. We like Spanish, but like for me, and I think you said the same thing, I'm just really afraid of children. <laughs> we had one kid, so we we're teaching them family trees. <laughs> and we're doing, you know, the basics, mom, dad, and we start with mom. And we're like, so this is your mom, la madre. And then this one kid who's a fluent Spanish speaker was like, oh my gosh, you're teaching them a curse word. And I think he was thinking you were saying the S word. I th that's what I think he was thinking. Oh. Right off the bat, they thought that we were teaching them curse words. One little girl tapped me on the leg and I squat down and she goes, you have a dot on your face. Like, no, that's a pimple. I had one little boy, I drew like three family trees and then a little boy, was like, can I keep it? And so, <laughs> he now knows my family line. <laughs> and he can cherish that. Lexi doesn't know how to somersault, so we're on mission, teach Lexi to somersault. Ready, go. It's very simple. First, bend your knees. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You start down here. <laughs> I haven't done this in a reason. Step one, bend your knees. <laughs> Step two, tuck your head, okay? all the way down here so you don't get hurt. You put your hands down, you tuck your head, and then you're gonna push off with your toes and momentum yourself, AKA give yourself some momentum, and then just flip over. So it goes a little something like this, are you ready? Yeah. Oh my goodness, that was so perfect. She stuck the landing. Wanna see backwards? Yeah. Bend your knees. <laughs> You're gonna like re-sprain. Did you hurt your ankle again? Everything hurts. <laughs> All right, Lexi. Step one: bend your knees. <laughs> no, bend your knees. Okay. Step two: tuck your head. Yeah, but you gotta bend your knees more than that. There you go. Put your hands down. Push off with your toes. One, two, three. <laughs> what? Okay, try number two. <laughs> Shoes removed. Third time's the charm. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wow, that was better. I'm not gonna drop my arm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah! Oh. Yeah! <laughs> that was awesome! That was so awesome! You did it! You did it! <laughs> And they always look at themselves. Like no, you, you have to look at that. Oh, the viewers get mad. Do they really? Yeah, and then they come oh in, and then you have, to, F, but you have to look at that. It's no, it's this camera. I was just double checking. <laughs>